walk in, you got some little areas, hanger, a robe if you need to. The restroom's here, nice and spacey. Good shower. I know that's gonna come in handy. Living room area, because I have guests with me, I'm sure it lets out to a bed. The best thing about this suite and why I chose it, I've already went shopping and got some little healthy snacks, soups, things like that. It has a stove. It even has pots here for you to use. Lots of space for you to open the bed. A TV in the living room. This area, I'm sure my nurse can utilize this tomorrow after my surgery. Now you walk into the bedroom. Nice size bed. Lamps on each side. I have all of my junk there. And then you have a nice spacious closet as well. So let's get into what happened at my pre-op appointment. So my pre-op was not bad at all. I see a lot of people say that it's hard for them to get in or they wait four or five hours. And at my doctor, it was not, that was not the case at all. I literally was in, I checked in. Once I checked in, signed in and everything, they grabbed my file. I hear a lot of people say how their check-in experience and their pre experience is so long and how it takes like four or five hours. At my doctor's office, that was not the case at all. Um, I literally got there at, what was it? About 10.15 and I was gone at 11.45. So it wasn't bad at all. I waited a little bit. Um, as soon as I got there, I checked in, they checked out my paperwork and everything, my clearance. She made sure I was good on all of that, which I had already sent in prior to my appointment. After she checked all of that, um, I filled out a lot of paperwork. So come ready to sign a whole bunch of papers. And I know I filled out some of it wrong because I have to go back and correct it. But y'all, it's so much. I just start signing because baby, I'm getting it. Okay. I'm getting snatched regardless. Okay. So I just signed my life away. <laughs> No, but it's a lot of papers, so come ready to sign. Um, so that took maybe like 25 minutes, probably. After I turned that in, it was like maybe 15 more minutes. Um, and the lady came and got me out. She came and got me out, took me in the room. Um, she asked me different questions, like about smoking and do you smoke, do you drink? You know, all of those normal questions that's in the paperwork. But I guess they just feel like they have to follow up and ask you again. So she asked me that again. And um, after that, she just looked through all the paperwork, make sure everything was good. Another lady came in. I waited maybe like 10 minutes after she left out. She came in and she asked for my balance because I chose to pay my balance in cash um, in person because I was not about to be paying on it. And when I got here or maybe a week before, they say, oh, you're canceled. We have to move you because I've seen that happen a lot with people with surgery too. So I wasn't playing. So I already had in my mind, I'm taking cash money because I will not be paying on it. I'm gonna pay my deposit. And when I get there, I'll pay everything else when I know I'm good and squared away from my date. So anyway, after that, um, I paid my balance. So that's when I was like, oh, this, this is getting real, y'all. Like I was sitting on the table. I was taking pictures, sending it to my friends. I'm like, y'all, this is happening. I'm really doing this. I've never had any other surgery except having kids and that's not even a surgery i haven't even had a c-section before so this is going to be my first real real surgery like being put under and i think that's the part i'm the most afraid of but so many people tell me you literally just you're looking one second and the next second you like knocked out and you wake up so fast so i'm just praying to god that that's my situation um but anyway so I paid my balance off after I paid my balance. She was like, okay, I'm going to get you ready for the doctor. So I waited maybe like 15, 20 more minutes. Um, she came and got me again. And I'm doing all of this with my suitcase, y'all, because I literally landed at like 930 and they wanted me there. You have to be there for your pre-op before 11 o'clock. And the airport was like 30 minutes away from um, where I'll be having my surgery it so i already knew i was going to be pushing it and when i landed at 9 30 i had to get off we already in miami airport so it's huge i had to take all these millions of escalators just to get to the baggage claims it's like a row of baggage baggage claim areas 
all the way down. You don't understand what it's saying. You got to listen for the announcement. So I'm walking all the way down. I passed the one up that I was supposed to be at so early. So anyway, I finally figured out which one it was. And it took maybe about an extra 20 minutes to do that because I didn't get picked up until almost 10 o'clock. So once I was picked up, um, that's when I went directly to the office and I made it there about 1025, 1020, you know, somewhere around that time. But I know I was out before noon. So that's like really good. That says a lot about the office and their organization. So after that, I'm literally rolling my bag around. I go to his office. It's a really tight office too, by the way. You're a plastic surgeon. I just feel like you should, you know, have something a little more spacious or... But it's nothing like the videos that he posts. So I don't know where he does the pre-op videos because my pre-op was nothing like that. And it didn't look like the same area. I was literally like in a little office, which was his office. But anyway, so I didn't even have to take all of my clothes off. So that's why I said, when you look online, just know that your experience is not necessarily going to be like that. Um... I kept all of my clothes on. He raised up my shirt to see how much fat, stomach fat, and to see if he could grab it, you know, stuff like that, because I am a, a skinny BBL. And he was like, oh, yeah, you have plenty of fat, and I'm going to put it in the right place. But he was very nice. He was very understanding, very sweet. We even took a selfie together. Check this out. And... um he didn't mind at all. He said, let's get the palm trees in the bag. You know, he, he took his time. I didn't feel like I was rushed. He asked me what I wanted. I told him what I wanted. I wanted hips with projection, but not too much. I still wanted to look natural and fit my body. I didn't want to look like an ant because it's a lot of ants walking around here in 2021. And I'm not trying to be an ant, but I want to be nice. You know, I want to have a little shape. I want to have a little figure, a little bounce to me, you know. So that's why I'm here, okay? Because I'm already not bad built. I'm skinny, but I'm not bone, bone skinny either. So it's like I'm kind of in between, but it's like I still want that shape, you know, from the front and the back, all right? So that's what I'm looking for, and that's what I told him. So he said that that's what we we're going to do the next day. Um, we took our selfie after that. I told him thank you. He gave me some advice about fixing my suitcase because the airport messed it up and put a big dent in it. But besides that, it wasn't rushed or anything. Um, after I met with him, the lady was like, you're done. So I literally went to the front. She was like, we'll call you with your surgery time um, later on today. And actually they texted me my surgery time and it didn't take that long either because I wasn't expecting a text message at least until like six o'clock. I'm like, they're not gonna text me until probably they close like five or six, like that's what I was thinking. But I actually ended up getting a text message around maybe like, it wasn't that far before six. It was like 4.30 and I got my text message and she was like, 8.30 a.m. be here. You know, they tell you all the rules and everything. And I'm just like, oh. when I got that message, I'm like, Lord, 8.30. Ah! <laughs> so y'all, this is really happening. I'm really doing this. I keep telling myself, I'm like, am I really doing this? I really flew down here. I really paid this money. I know some of y'all be thinking what I'm thinking though, especially if you already had your surgery. I know you'd be like, I really did this shit. Or before you had your surgery, I know you was like, I'm really doing this. Like, I think it's really going to hit me too. Once the anesthesia person coming in and they put me under and I walk back there, I'm really going to be like, I'm really doing this like i'm here like i've I've paid for a private nurse um she's picking me up tomorrow with my sister she's gonna pick both of us up after my surgery i told her to actually i put my sister's information down for my pickup first of all i didn't put my nurse and once they contact my sister she'll contact the nurse and i explain it to the nurse and everything like that and then she'll know to come and pick us up but I told my sister she didn't have to be there the entire time because I feel like you told me 8 30 but I'm probably not going to be on the table until about 9 30 from what I've seen today so one thing I did notice they didn't take long on my pre-op appointments because they probably try to get the pre-op appointments out within a certain amount of time but the people who were there for surgery they were kind of waiting around because I heard some complaints and my thing is on my in my text message they said if you're 
late, you get a thousand dollar fine. Okay, so if I'm sitting there tomorrow, are y'all gonna pay me a thousand dollars? No, y'all not.